Oh, we're not even done with this world, aren't we? God help me. Greetings, everyone. It is me, Gigalem, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Can you dig it? I sure can't, but we have to do it anyway. I would sing the one song, but I'm not going to assault your ears. Anyways, this is basically, this was supposed to be the first mountain level you go, you go, you go through, but I decided to hold it off for a bit because I don't know which one's harder. It's either behaving or this level. Actually, I think it's this level. Uh, goodness, how did I? No question. Now, one thing I wanted to show off. You can actually spin away the bombs in the in the one levels if your angle is good enough. You have to be around. No, not like that. Like that far away from them. It's pretty difficult. Let's get across. And we can't die in this level, at least until we touch the death route platform, or the skull route. You know, I'm surprised these seed bombs are not destroying the, uh, the mines. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, things that were used in some of the boulder chase levels. No joke, when I was playing some Minecraft with friends, I was listening to some, uh, Crash 2 music. And it was definitely making the thing, uh, making the experience a little bit more, uh, a little bit more complete. I don't have his Van or Coda skin, so I'm sticking with the Banuka. So, yeah. Huh. Oh! Oh! Uh, that's a little bit hasty. And we're not even at the worst parts of the level. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this, the lab? That's why I hate those things. And by the way, I think we're about to approach the death route, the next fork in the road. Whoa! Ugh. Let's hit the checkpoint. Uh, not do that. I uh, darn it. I think my mind was having a mini stroke there. Uh. Ooh, Mountain Dew water. Sweet. I don't know why it turned from snowy area to gre How? I was supposed to break that box upon landing. Why is Crash standing on it? What is this game doing to me? Oh. Okay, I believe I know this bonus stage, uh, uh, personally. <laughs> okay. Okay. Supposed to time this thing's right? Nope, no, no. Okay. So we'll jump on this one, jump on this one, and we get three extra lives. Yeah. If you're wondering what that, area, uh, what that platform was for, it was for that. Uh, pretty much a reward for uh, uh, for base uh, for basic exploration. Unfortunately, you have the nitro jump. So guess what? Just like that. Okay. Ugh. But that was honestly pretty cool. I was at. That was not a bad bonus stage. Too bad it's probably in one of the uh, lesser stages of the game. First things first. Let's break these two uh, crates. But believe me, this ain't the worst. This is definitely one of the worst forks in the road. <sighs> yeah, quality nitro crate placement right there. Definitely some good quality. Uh, there we go. But I'm not expecting that luck to last. I may have played this game a lot, but I never look forward to these levels. So you can just freely jump across the uh, jump across the Venus uh, flytraps bombs just as long as they don't explode. But on top of that, it's not just uh, it's not just Venus flytraps. We also have to deal with bees, and no one wants to deal with the bees. I just want I made that jump. Uh, 
depth perception. Well, I guess I have no more safety nets for this one. Yeah, Aku Aku be damned. But yeah. On top of that, while you can take the back route, it's just really hard to go through the behind and such. Uh, don't. Because you need to break all the boxes along the way. Uh, I'm definitely not going to have 60 lives by the time I finish. Of course, it's always the bees. Okay, wait. Ah. Unfortunately, there's more bees. And do people like more bees? Oh, that got uncomfortably close. Good news for us. Checkpoint. Uh, yeah, that's what happens if you get uh, shot by the seeds. Uh, the abundance of these sun uh, sons of guns. Yeah, they're guns, too. But guess what? More bees, but let's get this gem and book it. Because if we don't book it, we're going to get stung or shot. But here we are at the end of the pathway. Oh, thank goodness. I think that only took, like, what, three times? Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit risky here. I'm gonna... Oh, no, no, no. I don't wanna go on that boost pad just yet. <sighs> Final say it. Boost pad! Okay, I said it. Yes, you can never have too many rings. Or Wumpa Fruit in that case. Mm -mm. You know, as a kid, I used to think Wumpa Fruit were, like, nectarines or something? You ever heard of a nectarine? Yeah, okay, these beehives are different in the fact that they only spout out one bee at a time. So yeah. On top of that, we have a secret exit in this level. We'll get to that exit in due time. Ugh. <clears throat> Just gotta easily traverse. Oop. The mounding crash. Crash Bandicoot doing his best Doug uh, Diglett impression. But hey, we got the crystal. But yeah, we have to backtrack through this area if you want to get the box gem. And this is the point where I think it's just like, like this is one of the lesser Crash uh, Crash games to 100% due to how much you have to freaking backtrack in a single stage. Like sometimes there's so many times in a row. Okay. Huh. Get electrified or get... Okay, I timed that way too early. Ugh. Uh, this is dead. Oh, I hesitated. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have 60 lives by the end of this. Fortunately, it's just a single B, which you can just do this. Okay, good. Okay, I think you're at, if you're at least this far away, you cannot kill the beehives. However, crash is not. The crash may be many things, but he definitely ain't be a, a, a uh, pest exterminator or a beekeeper. Okay, fortunately, this is just a single bee. Okay, that was not intentional, but that was pretty cool. Science in ah, the science of Banukas. Okay, okay, good. I'm at the le I'm at the very least uh, a far enough distance away. I think I should know when I should be at the point where I need to go back forward. Another bee, huh? Away with you. Wait. Another bee? Spin it away. Another bee, huh? Ugh. Yeah, I need to go back forward, which means... Which means I have to do a bunch of this again. Speed right through it. Ugh. Ugh, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> I 
Actually, there's no bees here. Why am I burrowing? <laughs> okay, I think there's a beehive here. Okay, so it was right here. Okay, this was a lot shorter than I expected. My memories be damned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ogans! Yeah, be careful about those seeds right there, but... Heh. It's like I'm playing a game called Dangerous Seed! I don't think many of you are going to get that one. It was a Japan-exclusive arcade shooter for the sake of Genesis. But, yep, all the... Uh, all the... Uh, uh, all the what's it's are gone. Ugh. All the nitro crates are gone. All we have to do is just get the remaining uh, boxes and then get our prize. Yeah. That, that was not my proudest uh, performance. But yeah, we have our prize. A box gem. And we now have suggestive imagery. But we're not going to take that exit. We have a different exit to get to and uh, we passed by it earlier. We just need to get our gem. Also, yeah, I may not be able to do that every single time for one uh, for one good reason, and that's because of uh, hit boxes. Single bees. Okay, I can definitely deal with the bees in this level because it's just a single beehive. Like, if it's a smaller beehive, they only fire one bee at a time as opposed to multiple. And behaving was showing off the more aggressive one where they show off multiple bees at a single uh, single wave. Let's get the heck out of here before more bees uh, come out of that. So what you're supposed to do is get on this platform. You're supposed to make sure you jump make sure that you're jumping off the uh, Venus flytrap. Make sure the game confirms that you're in a safe spot. Then and there you go. That's another level clear and another secret entrance uh, found. Yep, Road to Ruin secret engine Engines, entrance. Uh, goodness gracious, uh, my verbal. Goodness gracious, I really uh, wish my brain wasn't trying to give me uh, verbal strokes right now because this puppy is scared. Anyway, time to go to the road to ruin again because it's the very last portal we needed. Yeah, as you can see, we got the gems for those two levels. But yeah. This can be a pretty brutal uh, level and such. <laughs> Fortunately, since we already took care of the death route earlier, I need to call it skull route, honestly. Uh, we do not need to go through it again. Also, that one buffer right there. That's supposed to be an indicator that there's a nasty surprise inside. A TNT crate. So you can't just go and just be like, Oh boy! A bunch of boxes! Gotta body slam them! You can't just do that because you're definitely going to blow up this TNT crate and you're going to die. You're just going to see Crash's shoes and eyes and ash. See the bandicoot turn and become cremated. No need for a crematorium. I am being very morbid tonight, aren't I? Anyway, get that box. Now get the heck out of the way and we're going to play some Olympics. Whoop! Like that. Man, talk about bad breath. What do they have for what? <laughs> Man, I I basically just trash on their bad breath and I get my freaking comeuppets for it. So yeah. You can't just body slam your way right through it. Believe me, you just need to carefully weed out the uh, TNT crate from the rest of it and then you're just in the clear. Music's pretty good though. I mean, I like this song. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Then you're supposed to hit this, and then you're back on the normal path. So yeah, this is where you start in the game, or in the level, so let's just get the uh, gems and get the heck out of here. So I'm probably gonna speed this up a bit, show any highlights. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, but why did I do that? Why did I hesitate there? My mind is open tonight. Ugh. I passed this game like months ago when I did a test right. I just played through like sometimes goes well. Okay, what the hell? 
Come on, get serious. Let's go. This is where you would come back on the death route. Now, it is entirely possible to just do a slight jump of a zigzag all the way over there and get the death route gem. And then just immediately just, uh, and then just immediately leave. There's no boxes in the skull route and such, so you don't need to worry about that. Ooh, gotta be careful here. And now, let's, uh, let's, uh, take a ride on our phone platform. <coughs> Whoa, I got nervous, I got nervous, I'm moving, I lost my mask, I swim up it. Okay, now let's do this right. Jump on that. <laughs> Jump on that. Jump on that, break that, and then... Uh, that was close, but we get it. <laughs> break that, get that, and everything else. Oh boy. And there we go, that's all true. And we're already at eight boxes, so we don't really have that many boxes left to go. I do like the, like, uh, I do like the, uh, the silhouettes in the background and such. There's just something, uh, comfort. I don't know why they've got certain, like, uh, old PlayStation game environments and such, like, more colorful ones and such. There's something that just feels so comforting and home-like because you're, like, you're in a vast, uh, splendor of wonder. And there we go, I think we have the box, Jim. And there we go. It's just like, I don't know what it is about the PlayStation and uh, some of its uh, fantastic platforms and such, but there's always something that feels comforting and uh, comforting and uh, safe about them. Like, I mean in a good way. Uh, then again, I'm playing a game that was, uh, that was released around, I don't know, uh, uh, eight months after I was born. I mean, I predate, nah, I mean, credit, I mean, Mario Kart 64 predates me by 10 days, like, like, I was born six days after Mario Kart 64. Uh, believe me, as much as we have some edges on here, we still have some levels to take care of. So, we go from one ruin, uh, ruin level to another. And believe me, I think we're in the worst of it. This level was supposed to have the easy hard path uh, sign, like you can see in the uh, in the prototype of Crash uh, 2, the E3 prototype. That was removed in favor of the green gem, and uh, and talk about a mean trick. They just casually shoved this nitro crate behind this stack of four boxes. I mean, that's just mean. I mean, I can I'm pretty sure I can find an ABGNism for that. As soon as you hit this uh, mouse, uh, this uh, this iguana would start moving. But fortunately, we do not need to worry about it. I gotta wonder what it's like to explore the rest of those ruins. I want to see that model like ripped or something. You gotta be careful around here. But yeah. Okay. Okay, did I break all ten? I didn't mean to do that, but that was cool. I was a bit worried there. Uh, Crash 1 can do things. So, some, some people. Okay, I was thinking about this right here. Yeah. I was wondering, where the heck was the thing above that? Also, you want to know something also pretty mean about this level? Nope, instead of bonuses, you get a bunch of nitro crates. Yeah. That's fair. I wasn't trying to do that. Ah. I always hate trying to maneuver around nitro crates. That's why I hate nitro crate jumping. Yeah, you want that uh, checkpoint crate. And on top of that, you also want... I don't know why this moves slightly to the left. Is it because of the barrel here? Because I'm pretty sure it might be possible to zigzag all the way over there. But yeah, we're going to need to spin here. Okay. But this section, especially in Insane Trilogy, sucks. All because of the spinning platforms. Uh, 
Uh, I should have spun there. This game is gonna drive me new Okay. Like, we're gonna need to bomb rush this sometimes because only. That's what we're supposed to do here. I think you can see the bonus stage off to the left. And we need to wait for them to come to our court and jump right into it. Yuck! Ugh. Ugh, fantastic. Slippery water and such. I'm just getting crashed through the ringer. Not dying as much as I was thinking I was gonna die from when I uh, decided to do perspective, but believe me, you're gonna die a lot in this game regardless. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Things you learn from your favorite games. I played with fire there, literally. Okay, how? You need to make sure you just uh, constantly inch forward every time when you're on this thing. Because otherwise you're going to slip and fall off. But believe me, we're almost done here, fortunately. Ugh. Oh! So much for that. And I hated this. I hated this gem path the first time I played this. Believe me. Eh, eh, believe me, I just hated this thing so much. Hey, little boy, can you, spin, can, you send, can you send the girls right back at Donkey Kong? Okay, that was way too far on the Z-axis. Z-axis, 3D! Ugh. I... Ugh. <laughs> uh, this might be another three, uh, three levels per part in the field. Gotta be careful with these jumps. Okay, I, my momentum is not on par. Uh, come on, I gotta do this. Okay, I am glad I made that because... Oh. Okay, that was cool. I was, I was having a feeling that I was gonna throw majorly in that section. I don't think I can keep that uh, momentum up. Hard path is right. Ugh. That perception is going to screw with me here. Oh, whoa. oh, I thought that was the bottomless pit. Uh, we got the gem here, and this is where the gem would take us back. However, because we missed quite a few boxes, we need to die. And now that we have the gem, we can just continue along the normal path. Normal path, it was supposed to be the easy path in the prototypes and such. So, we gotta be careful here. So, just... Ugh, goodness, I think I am going to be coming across one of the worst placed uh, nitro detonators ever. But first... Furnished? First, a bonus stage. Ugh. Furnished! But, you want to make sure that uh, when you do this bonus stage, you make sure that your uh, crates are right here. You want to make sure you jump in the right spot, otherwise you're not going to be able to break those crates. There's no way to get back up there. Ugh. The belly flop is so weird in this game. It is super weird. Like, its range is pretty piss poor, but it's, uh, but it's just, sometimes it just, uh, ha acts all screwy. Anyways, this one. Ugh. That's what you want to do. There we go. Now, do the same thing here, because you need to be on top of this to break all of its boxes. Now comes my least favorite thing. 
jumping over boxes over a bottomless pit. Especially with uh, box formations like that. Lots of masks too, which sucks. However, I think I need a victory. Ah. Got refuel with Baja Blast. Anyway, make sure I'm properly positioned, and there we go. Gonna do that again for these ones. Now that's what's supposed to happen. I am not sure about how wonky the collision detection for uh, for the uh, belly flop can be. And no, I'm not going to make the obvious joke. If you want that joke, go right over there. <laughs> okay, I just realized the dumb face crash makes me belly flops. Okay, now make sure I'm not in a position where the collision detection would screw me. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I almost flopped that one up. Just like that. Now we need to do this again. And we gotta make sure that we go immediately to the right after getting that box. But holy moly, we're gonna get a lot of lump of fruit and such. Because we get two lives on top of getting a third life from the Wumper Fruit count alone. And the whole boy, it's always so satisfying to hear that uh, uh, tally go up. But yeah. Gotta, uh, gotta wait for the right moment. Tail this monkey. I think that was a sa weird sound where something happened to cause the Wumpa Fruit sound to play in a slower pitch or something. I mean, lower pitch. Ugh. Wait. Jump. Jump. Now go for it. And we are in the clear. Now you can use the CNT crate to blow up the iguanas. But you gotta time him right. Uh, how? Uh, uh, close calls. I'm so glad we have a checkpoint, but... Oh, God, I hate this part. You gotta make sure you stay on top of this. And the worst part is, this jump is near impossible! That's what I hear. This jump, That jump is near impossible in Insane Trilogy. Near impossible, and you're expected to get the platinum relic for that? There we go. Because of how because of how precise it is, it's a very easy slip up right then and there. Without just getting it right on the docket. You gotta make sure that you are in the proper position. This is the most nerve-wracking thing I ever had to do. Ah. Uh, we're not even done yet. We don't have a checkpoint after that section. And on top of that, guess what we have to do? Jump over a bottomless pit to get to the nitro detonator. Aren't you mean enough, game? Ugh. I mean, I don't think Crash 1 had some mean, uh, mean tricks that bad. Well, at the very least, we're at the end of the level, so... So, yeah. Let's get our last gem. Oh. Oh. Ugh. I feel content. So yeah, we have another suggestive imagery and such. Uh <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's save that last level for the next part. Uh, I, I wish I can do more levels per part, but these levels do take a good long bit. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not a speedrunner. I can't make them go faster as much as I wish to, but yeah. Uh, with that said, if you want to donate, there are a few links in the description below. Any amount helps. If you want to uh, keep up with the series, you're free to subscribe and hit that bell, and then you'll be on your way. But you don't have to if you don't want to. God help me. Ah.